what your poop says about your health. So what are the most common causes of constipation? Well, number one would be lack of fiber. And I think most of us can agree that getting enough fiber in the diet can be a challenge, especially if you don't have the healthiest diet to begin with. Another cause for constipation is lack of grounding. Yes, this means getting outside with your bare feet on the earth and connecting with that earth's energy. It's very important for our circadian rhythms and for our normal body cycles in terms of elimination to be connected with the earth and with nature. So that is another thing that can be a cause for constipation. Also a lack of essential fatty acids in the diet. So especially those omega-3s, the DHA and the EPA, really important as a lubricant for healthy cell membranes to keep our bowels moving. And of course, a lack of fluid. So if you're not ingesting enough fluids, whether that's water or teas, herbal teas, that could be a cause for constipation as well. Now there are some supplements, namely iron, which is a common cause for constipation as well. So finding the right type of iron supplement can be very helpful in terms of your iron absorption, but also finding a non-constipating one is fantastic. I promise we'll put some links below for a great one that doesn't cause constipation. Painkillers, so things like aspirin, ibuprofen can commonly cause constipation and other medications as well. Lack of exercise, so if you are not moving enough, this can slow down your bowel. So it's really important to get moving. I love, you know, different exercises, no matter what it is, but yoga specifically in different twisting postures will really help to get the bowels moving. Now, when you don't go, number two, when you don't poop, when your body is signaling that you need to go and poop, this can be a problem too, and if this is happening more often than not, then this can be a cause for chronic constipation as well. So our circadian rhythms are very much in tune with nature when we are connected with the earth and the sun and the light cycles, and when we become disconnected and we don't follow those urges for urination and defecation, then our systems can get out of balance. So if you get the urge, you've got to go and go poop. And of course, the mind-body connection. So so this can be related with chronic constipation with guilt and that could be guilt from the past if you have been holding on to past emotional garbage you're simply not letting things go this can be one of those unforeseen causes for constipation even if the diet your exercise and everything else is on point this could be why you are constipated maybe a reason that you haven't thought about so today i talked all about what your poop says about your health and what causes constipation i hope that you've got some questions or comments for me please drop it in the comment section below be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome in i hope that you'll subscribe subscribe and click that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.